There's no charades, no charades. being played here. No charading? No. We are separated no. and we're friends. You guys should be happy. We used to fight all the time. We don't anymore. Yeah, you should be thrilled. You don't have to choose sides. It's the perfect breakup. Yeah, everyone's cool. Everyone is not cool. Not cool. No one is cool here. I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. Baby. Beth. Beth is so angry. Yeah, she is uber angry. Yeah. This is too weird. A great air of playfulness in this movie, but there's also a lot of sour moments, but honest and truth sour moments. Thank you. Um, how were y'all able to like balance the different tones of the movie? It's I'm gonna, tough. Yeah, it's I'm tough. gonna give the credit to our director, Lee Krieger. I mean, we wrote it that way, and um, the cast and um, the director really understood that we wanted to, to, to make a movie that had both. It was a movie that we intended. So there are some sharp turns in the movie, um, and they're all intentional because there are sharp turns in life. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've had horrible days where I'm crying and then laughing the next, so we wrote the movie that way, and I think the director did a really good job of navigating those turns, which are tricky, and they come fast in the movie, and they come fast intentionally. We wrote it that way, you know? Yeah. So um, I think a lot of credit goes to Lee Krieger, our director. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Working with Andy Samberg, was he y'all's first choice? Did y'all know that he had this different side to him? You know, you never know if somebody does, but I've, I've been friends with Andy for a long time. I, I knew that as a person he had this side. Yeah. And then he told me that he could do it, and I and we believed him. We went and read with him in New York, and he was great, you know. But um, he, you know, there were so many incarnations of the movie, and it fell apart and came back together, whatever, and it just the timing worked out so well. And Andy said he wanted to do it, and he was perfect for the part, and he killed it. Okay, this is a question from a student at the University of North Texas. Okay. When you guys were younger, children even, did you display any inclinations for comedy or acting? Was there like a eureka moment in y'all's life where you're just like, I want to pursue this for the rest of my life? I have one. In college, I was doing a play called Tales of the Lost Formicans by Constance Congdon. And Condon and I had like a acting blackout. Mm -hmm. I woke. I don't remember performing or the play. And my friends were like, "Hey, man, you were pretty good." And I was like, "I don't remember. I was so lost in it." And I woke up the next day and I knew that I would work somehow in theater or I worked at a movie theater in college yeah. too as a ticket person. And uh, I knew that I would do that for the rest of my life. So it was never even really a choice. It was like sort of a spiritual. It sounds corny, but I really had that moment. It was like a spiritual kind of awakening with art. I was like, oh, I'm done. I don't think I had, mine was very gradual because I, I didn't even decide that I was going to do acting as a career or be in entertainment really until I was like a senior and like a junior in college. But um, comedy for me was always number one. I mean, the only, I was like such a good girl and I never went out and I, I mean, I had friends, but don't get me wrong. But when I was little, the, my parents would make the exception. I was able to stay up and watch Saturday Night Live every Saturday night, SCTV, not necessarily the news. I was obsessed with sketch comedy. I mean, that was like all I wanted to watch. So even if it wasn't what I did professionally, it just was such a big part of me. I guess at some point I was going to have a, a, you know, some interaction with it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so thank much. You. It's so nice talking to you. Nice to I meet appreciate you. It. Thank you. Do you have any regrets about Jess? What? No. If you ever need, like, someone to be with you and, like, hold you and caress you, I think I could be that guy. No. Good. Good, good. Did you even know he was seeing someone? He barely knows her. Thank Rash. <laughs> Is this about a girl? I'm not gay. I know, I know I meant a boy. He's just going about everything so wrong. You want to be right? You want to be happy? Do you love her? Do you think it's weird to be hanging out all the time? No, you're my best friend. You're my best friend, too.